Hey guys, welcome back. This is Return to Tennis. Thanks for returning. So, I lied. I said in the last video, uh, you know, after a couple of rough days at the club, I wasn't going to hit any more balls this week. I was going to wait till Saturday. But it's kind of nice out. It's, the courts are dry, and it's a little cool. It's not bad. It's like almost 50. And after today, the weather's going to get bad, and I'm not going to be able to go outside anymore. And hit for a few days um so you know yeah i lied i'm gonna go hit today uh i'm not hitting serves i'm only gonna focus on forehands which is what we've been working on um played last night at the club i hit the diadem the tour elevate fs feels great on ground strokes slice shots forehands backhands well when, when i can get my forehand in but i i'm hitting it well on the ground strokes but there's something in the serve that's off I don't hit it cleanly when I serve. Um, I don't know, maybe the the racket, it's not coming around at the same rate of speed as some of the other rackets. I, I frame a lot of them. I don't catch them on center. And it's sending a lot of vibration through my arm. It's not in my elbow. It's all in the bicep area up here around the tricep that I'm very sore. And it's only serving that I get this pain and it's predominantly uh, due to the vibration that I get out of the diadem when I don't hit it clean, which is a lot on the serve. I hit, a, I miss hit a lot of serves with it, and I miss hit a lot of overheads, and I don't know why. I don't have that issue with the other rackets. So I'm switching over from the diadem for a while. I'm going to hit the Selenko wide out. Um, I hit that clean on serves. I'm hitting 80% of my first serves off of it. I, it feels nice. I think it has something to do with the stability at three and nine on the frame. It's helping me out. But I'm going to hit the Selenko for now. Uh, I'll revisit the diadem again when I kind of get my swing and everything else kind of evened out when things are more mechanically sound. I think we'll try the diadem again. I think the diadem is truly a like a tour player's racket. It's, it's a, for that higher level player who has very clean strokes consistently. And that's something I was... 25 years ago that's not what i am now uh, maybe i have to accept that now that i'm much older uh, i need to play rackets that are lighter even though they feel it feels off to me to play a light racket i may today i may pull out the technofiber again and give it another swing just to see how it feels maybe because uh, you know i'm older i need something i need to start thinking more about comfort with my rackets and not stiffness and power which is what i was used to so we're going to go get set up on the courts. Uh, we're going to put the camera angle up facing us this time, so I'm hitting balls at it. I uh, hope I don't hit my camera. Uh, that would suck. But we'll see you here soon. Okay, guys, we're going to get some footage hit in a little bit uh, on the forehands. I'm going to hit the diadem in. I'm going to try to take the fire out again. Uh, I'm not going to get too much. The arm's starting to feel a little noodly. Um, it's just overworked. But let's see what we can do. Um, focusing only on one-handed. We got to get the back.
arm feels like jello. Uh, maybe I should have not come out today. Don't feel like I've accomplished anything. Didn't get any more consistency on the forehand and my arm feels bad and tore up again. So that's all for today. Uh, thanks for returning. Wishing you many happy returns. We now return you to your regularly scheduled programming.